Fiore. I'm standing here in the aircraft hall at the Air Force Museum of New Zealand. I'm just about to hand over to a few members of the team that are going to be talking about some changes that are going to be taking place in the space you can see behind me during the month of May. This historic aircraft hangar was built in the 1940s and in 1987 it was taken over by the then new Air Force Museum as a display space for its historic aircraft collection. The lights up in the ceiling space have been here all of that time and have given remarkably good service. But now we have the opportunity to replace them with some LED technology. This also gives us an opportunity to look at our aircraft collection and rearrange it in a way which we think will be much more engaging for the public. This is part of our ongoing commitment to change and renewal in our exhibition spaces. With the new design for the displays in the aircraft hall, uh, there was a need for a, a complete new lighting design anyway to uh, cater for the specific needs of that arrangement. And so it was a logical time to move to LED technology for the lighting, which is where the entertainment and display industry is, is going. The uh, several benefits for that, um, probably the most significant one is the uh, reduction in power consumption. The LEDs are much more efficient. Uh, the traditional uh, incandescent light fittings and the lamps that go in them are getting more difficult to obtain, so over time that will become a, a big problem. Uh, and the LEDs have another bonus, which is they give us uh, some flexibility in terms of being able to change the colours uh, on the plane so we can do some more dynamic um, work with the lighting design. It's quite a significant project just because of the scale of the, the room that we're working in and the quantity of equipment. We're removing probably three or four kilometres of cable and a couple of hundred light fittings that are already there, uh, replacing them with a similar number of the newer technology bits of equipment. There's uh, quite a lot of logistics and planning gone into uh, making this work over a period of three or four weeks. We've got teams from the light site coming in to, to work on lighting and then museum teams will be moving aircraft around from one end to the other so that we can we can get back up into the areas we need to on the roof. Uh, the equipment as it comes down will be being taken away and uh, being dismantled so that the various different parts can, can be recycled and reused where possible. We hope the public understands the need for this. While the aircraft hall may be closed for just a few weeks starting on the 3rd of May, the rest of the museum will be open. Our very popular behind-the-scenes tours will continue to operate as they normally would 11 a.m., 1.30 p.m. and 3 p.m. every single day for free. We apologize for the inconvenience that this may cause, but we also hope that you're just as excited as we are to very soon see the refreshed aircraft hall open again.